Hello and welcome to the Garian Tabletop, I am Garian Reaver and this is a Far Waste devlog. Today I'll be showcasing the next class, the Transitor. Remember, this game is a work in progress, put your feedback in the comments or join us on the Garian Reaver Discord linked in the description. All the release rules are on the Far Waste lab, also linked. Quick reminder about things common to all classes, there are 7 classes planned, at least 3 subclasses each, max level 25 and no multiclassing. You pick your subclasses at level 1, but there will be an optional level 0 for new players. At alternating levels, all classes get Honing, allowing you to improve stats, and every 4 levels they get Core Growth that improves their MB scores. After showing off the skills last time, I've done some thinking. Getting 2 skill points per level vastly overwhelmed the available slots to spend them, and meant you could max out 1 by level 4 and still have change, so 2 tweaks. First, you only get one skill point per level up. Second, you get an additional free interest at level 10. I think that means it's impossible to run out of skills to spend points on. Time will tell. I should mention that every subclass gets two free interested skills of five options. I'll cover most of these when we get to them, but here are the soldier and chemist ones. You get two free skill points in the two skills you pick. In the pre-poc, transitors were the newest division of modern militaries, the ultimate in breaching hostile buildings, overwhelming defensive locations, and outmaneuvering sniper positions, transitors were vital to numerous goals in war. Able to teleport short distances by destabilizing the user and zipping their particles forward, transitor devices are much harder to block or disrupt than longer range teleportations. Using a combination of solar power and recycled XO, most transitor teleporters are able to sustain themselves for an extremely long time, if given sufficient chance to recharge. They are a melee focus class and the counterpoint to the ranged oriented soldiers. Their subclasses are Momentum, Vortex, and Slingshot. Transitors are amateur adept with all melee weapons, one ranged weapon category, and all armor. They start with one adept ranged weapon and a melee weapon. They also start with their respective teleporter, the nature of which determines their subclass. Their most important stat is either might or finesse, depending on their choice of weapon, but res is important too. Transitor subclasses don't get a single shared feature at level 1, instead having their own variations on a teleporter. That said, all the teleporters are capable of the same basic function. They all start with a max of 4 charges, recharging 1 per hour. They can spend 6 meters and 1 charge to instantly teleport up to 20 meters. Due to the way the teleportation works, destabilizing and accelerating particles, there are a few limitations. It has to be in a straight line, they cannot teleport through solid objects such as walls or windows, but can teleport through gaps at least 60 centimeters in diameter, or through grills or wire fences or whatever that allow free passage of air. It is an instant movement and can be done multiple times per turn. Just keep an eye on those charges. This function causes a noticeable visible effect, like a flash of light, puff of smoke, static effect, something to denote it's happened. I'll also mention that the origins of the teleporters themselves are entirely open. Did your transitor find or purchase a postpoc device? Is it handed down through generations? Did they build one based on prepoc specs? Or were they even a prepoc transitor who somehow made it to the postpoc? It's entirely up to you. We came up with our ideas for how these teleporters could look, but this is by no means definitive. Get creative. Momentum transitors are the shock troops of the class, wielding large, powerful weapons to make the most of their technology. When a momentum teleporter is used, the wielder quickly locks it onto a target before zipping towards them as unstoppable particles. While most teleporters slow the user down enough to step out of it, if they arrive moving at all, momentum devices preserve enough of the frictionless speed to allow the user to appear with significant force behind them. These transitors train to emerge from the teleportation already swinging, bringing a usually unattainable speed and power to bear with their first strike. Momentum Teleporter, in addition to their basic teleporter ability, allows them to spend 10 meters and one charge to instantly teleport up to 18 meters and roll a single strike with a melee weapon against anything in range. If it hits, it deals double damage. For ease of terminology, melee weapons make strikes, ranged weapons make shots, and both can lead to hits. 
momentum transitors can pick between architecture, fieldcraft, force, medicine, or threat as their interest skills. In early levels, they get vanguard, adding might to their reaction rolls. Reaction is what you roll at the start of a combat to determine turn order. It's a d20 plus fin plus obs. Some people see things coming, some just have quick reflexes. Ties are settled by highest fin, then highest obs, with any further ties settled by the GM. Momentum get to add their might to that. They also get assisted throw, meaning things they throw have twice the range. Good for grenades. They get professional adeptness, and I should mention that all three subclasses have their maximum teleporter charges increased periodically. At this stage they go up to 8. They also get slipstream, that allows nearby allies to get free movement when moving directly towards them after they use the momentum. At mid-level they get photonic strike, allowing them to spend a charge when a strike lands to change the damage type to heat, chill, or shock. Maximum charges increase, and the range of the basic teleportation increases to 30 meters. The momentum range increases to 28. Then there's Impact Wave. Spend an extra charge when using momentum to make all creatures, including and adjacent to the target, pass a body might check versus might, or be knocked to the ground. Not entirely sure what being on the ground does yet, but the option's there. In case you don't know what the body check is, I talked about it in the Moraith video, and it's all on the Farways lab linked in the description. Then all transitors get a shared feature, home point. At any time they can designate where they are as a location. While within 5 miles, they can spend 10 meters and a charge to instantly teleport to that location. I don't know if this should be kept. It makes sense, as that's probably how the teleporting soldiers would have worked pre-POC, but I don't know if it fits the game. At high level, they get Wound Compress, a self-heal, and their maximum charges increase again. Then there's Wall Crusher. When using the momentum to make a strike against a structure or object, spend an extra charge to deal quadruple damage instead of double. Slipstream range increases, Wound Compress improves, Ordinary Teleportation range increases, and momentum charges go up again. Their final ability is Collision Shield. When using the momentum to make a strike, spend two extra charges to become immune to all damage until the end of your next turn. Very powerful, but will rip through your charge. Even so, the cost might need increasing. Momentum Transitors are charging strikers, zipping around, hitting things hard. They're not the most survivable, but make a great spearhead. Primarily used by dedicated defensive transitors as a means of drawing in and locking down their enemies, Vortex Teleporters are able to latch onto creatures a little distance away and teleport them close. Vortex Transitors would typically zip behind enemy lines or perhaps march across no man's land, and proceed to interfere with enemy movements and plans by sucking them in and denying escape. In a unique display of semi-teleportation, the Vortex Teleporter accelerates air particles in the beginning stages of teleporting them, but doesn't take that to completion. This allows use of the device to limit movement, redirect projectiles, and even lighten loads. They get to pick between demolitions, force, mechanics, scavenging, and threat as their interest skills. Vortex Teleporter, in addition to basic teleportation, allows them to spend 6 meters in a charge to instantly teleport up to two targets within 10 meters to adjacent spaces, once per turn. They then make use of pinning to keep them there. More on pinning in another video. Eye of the Storm gives them plus one evasion for every enemy in adjacent squares. Updraft and Downdraft are two features where they spend two meters and one charge to either reduce total carry weight or double an object's weight. Vortex range increases, they get professional adeptness, and maximum charges increase as normal. Vex Prison allows them to spend eight meters and one charge to make all creatures in a cube pass a body might check versus either res or might, or be pinned to the ground, unable to move. In the mid-levels, Undercurrent has them spend 6 meters and 1 charge to force all nearby creatures to spend double movement to go anywhere but directly towards them. Charges and range increase. Bullet Magnet allows them to spend 6 meters in a charge, forcing ranged attacks targeting nearby to switch to them. Again, there's home point and vortex range increases further. At the top levels, Eye of the Storm goes up to plus 2 evasion, charges and range, etc., and they get anti-vortex. Spend 6 meters and 2 charges to force a body check or be pushed away. Vex prison size increases, bullet magnet range increases. 
Then finally, Event Horizon. When making a melee attack, spend two charges. Their melee attacks this turn ignore evasion. They still need to get past shields and armor, but that is a powerful bonus. The Vortex Transitor is a frontline tank, locking down enemies and drawing fire. They get a lot of disruptive and controlling abilities, but this will likely make them a target. The true purpose of the Slingshot Teleporter is notoriously difficult to achieve, marking them as the most skilled of all Transitor disciplines. Intended to bounce the user around, allowing one to teleport further than a handheld device would usually make possible, the Slingshot does this by briefly transporting the user in one direction, before then catapulting them in another. Given the technical precision and fast reflexes required to use this function safely, most slingshot transitors simply leave the safety on, content to use the brief pullback teleportations as a means of making hit and run attacks. That's right, sure the Gamverite is a slingshot transitor. After using the normal teleportation, slingshots have the option to teleport back at the end of the turn as part of the same action. Their interest skills can be fast hands, flexibility, stealth, streetwise, or trickery. Early on they also get dark light, eliminating the visual effect of their teleporter. Under pressure, giving their fast hands checks the glow if a creature that would disapprove is nearby, deliberately vague for GM discretion, and tight squeeze, allowing them to use the teleporter through a space as little as 5 centimeters down from 60 centimeters, and the usual stuff like professional adept, more charges, etc. Mid-level is when slingshots unlock their true potential, long shot. Spend 6 meters and 2 charges to teleport up to 10 meters in one direction, then, at the end of the turn, exactly 10 times that distance in the opposite direction. It's not called slingshot for nothing, the normal teleport is the pulling back of the slingshot before firing. Sidestep is a helpful feature. For 6 meters and 1 charge they can give the next range attack the grey until the start of their next turn. If targeted, the slingshot moves them 2 meters to the left or right, they literally sidestep the attack, dodging between frames as it were. They also get home point. Higher levels are mostly improvements, increasing long shot range and sidestep protection, but they also get Veil Draw. Spend 2 extra charges when using the slingshot to become invisible until the end of their turn. Finally, they get Group Slingshot. Target up to 7 other nearby creatures and spend charges equal to the number of creatures plus 1, then it's effectively long shot but in a group. The Slingshot Transitor is a sneaky one, designed to hit and run, steal things and get where they're not supposed to be. Overall, I'm quite proud of the Transitor. They started as a Machinist subclass, but I decided there was too much potential to not expand on. Think of all the things you could do with a teleporter. Speaking of which, I have one other subclass I'd like for the initial release, but I wanted to get these three done first. And that's it for the Transitor, let me know your thoughts. Got a genus next? Then maybe a combat test. Join us on the Garion Reaver Discord, check out the Far Waste Lab, both linked in the description. Please share this round to your friends and gaming groups so that we can continue to grow and improve. Thank you very much for watching, subscribe for more Far Waste devlogs, or for board games, card games, miniatures, and TTRPGs like this, and I will catch you later.